Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share my full review of the Digitally Digested segment for the Logitech G930 wireless gaming headset, delivering 7.1 simulated surround sound. Uh, this is, in my opinion, one of the best headsets on the market. Granted, it's been around for a while, and the price reflects that because it's dropped significantly since its launch way back when. Uh, you can now pick this up from anywhere, I would say, on sale to roughly $80 to $100. And no matter what price you get it at, at least in that range, it is a steal. When you compare this to current headphones that try to compete with it, the G930s simply destroy most of what you can get at this price point. And that's because, again, they do come from a higher quality uh, than what you would traditionally find at this uh, sub $100 mark. Uh, but in terms of overall features, you can see we've got some programmable buttons, G1, G2, G3, uh, and those were originally designed to be used for voice masking. I don't really use those, so I can only speak to overall audio uh, quality in terms of the microphone as well as output and overall comfort when using this headset for prolonged periods of uh, use. Uh, the dedicated volume control definitely works nicely, controls uh, your Windows volume throughout your system, uh, and you've got a dedicated mute button, but you also have the ability to trigger the mute using the actual microphone. And you can see it's uh, plastic combined with rubber to make it quite pliable, and essentially this is the action to mute. Uh, when you bring it down, the mic is hot, bring it back up so that it's out of your uh, line of sight, out of, you know, no longer anywhere in your face, and you've muted the microphone and when powered this will light up red the power buttons right here on the left headset uh, and you can see about a three second press brings on the power that green light comes on uh, you've got that virtual surround mode that you can switch on and off I'm not a big fan of it it really just distorts audio I mean it makes everything sound surround so that's less than ideal for pretty much any form of use not sure why these sort of features even exist, but I guess someone out there enjoys it. But once it's powered, you may have noticed, uh, you can see the red light now, the LED on the microphone piece. That's indicating that we're currently muted. If I go ahead and drop it down, like I was showing before, the red light is off, now the mic is hot. I have noticed occasionally that that will be inaccurate. It'll show that it's muted, uh, and it's not muted, and vice versa, the opposite. So. Uh, that can be uh, definitely a little bit of an issue, may lead you to want to use the dedicated mute uh, rather than relying on the gesture-oriented mute of flipping the microphone up and down. Uh, when it comes to comfort, the ear cups are fantastic. Really, uh, you know, this isn't a heavy headset. It's predominantly plastic uh, outside of the uh, metallic inner shell for the headband itself, almost all plastics here so it is lightweight but nonetheless you can see it's relatively large it is bulky looking so you don't anticipate to get a very comfortable uh, experience but I can tell you it's fantastic uh, I mean I've worn this for hours upon hours and yeah you know it's not any headsets eventually going to get to you uh, but this has fared better for me personally than probably any headset uh, that I've used in the past. So that's a very big endorsement since I've gone through uh, more headsets than you could imagine. Uh, Logitech has always done a very good job. Their warranties generally are also very good. The company has changed over the years. I will point that out. Uh, you know, back in the day, Logitech was unlike any other. Now, well, you know, things are different. But still, this is from those days when Logitech really made uh, only best-in-class products, and that's not to say that they aren't still doing that, uh, but there's a reason they haven't replaced this headset, uh, and it still has its place in the market, and that's because at its price point, it still delivers one of the most comfortable uh, as well as best performing uh, headsets when it comes to audio uh, fidelity in terms of output as well as input and uh, customization. So really a lot to like. Also wireless range on this, fantastic uh, very little interference despite its age uh, and that'll be no matter what network uh, you're really working with of course if you have neighbors live in an apartment uh, you'll be more susceptible to even more interference than if you're in a house there you can at least control your own your own types of radio interference uh, but overall still a great 
uh, experience. The range is just amazing. I, th I think that was the thing I was most surprised about, and that's why I started using it uh, for vo a voice over IP as well, because this really allowed me to take my calls uh, anywhere. Um, and it may not seem like a practical idea, but once you see how comfortable it is, the padding on the uh, headphones, the padding on the actual headband, you start to see that this is one of the best headsets ever made. And, um, you know, the Astro Gaming headsets, I've tried them. They're just garbage compared to this. I'm not sure how anyone could think it's better. Uh, they're more expensive, and their audio quality does not stand up uh, to what the G930s produce. And in terms of battery life, um, also really solid. You know, this is one of those devices where if you use it for a heavy period of time, five, six hours, uh, you're going to need to give it a substantial charge. I would say an overnight charge, uh, not literally, but in the sense that you're best off doing it then because otherwise uh, this will have to stay tethered. The good news is that it does come uh, with a very long USB, micro USB cable to charge it right here uh, through the base. It'll light up amber, uh, solid when it's done charging. It'll blink when it's actually in the act of charging. And uh, what's nice about that extension cord, it comes wrapped around a base uh, with the receiver, and it'll actually give you enough uh, cord length that when you you know do actually kill the battery and you forgot to do that overnight charge, you can just plug it in and still use this the way you would a wired headset. Granted, uh, the connection will still be uh, you know, it'll be just really charging actively while being used. The idea is that you still have an option. You're not uh, dead. A lot of other headsets, you know, if you don't have other batteries ready to go, there aren't other options. So nice. It is a convenience. Uh, and overall, I really have nothing negative to say about this at its price point. I've had my share of uh, drops on the, uh, the receiver, but not enough to in any way say that this isn't, again, uh, the best headset right now. Uh, for PC at least, that money can buy. And that has really only been since, of course, it's come down in price with age. So a lot to like with the G930. Don't overlook it because of its age. This is still one of the best uh, headsets, not only for gaming, but in general use on the market. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.